Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hey, hey guys, I'm here with Daniel at the moment at Components Conference. Um, so, Daniel, um, what do you think would be um, a good toolkit to have as a developer, or what would you have in your toolkit? So, as, as a, a full stack JavaScript developer, this is a really hard question to answer because there are so many good tools. And for every use, there is a lot of really good options. Um, so the one thing that, that I would definitely want to have in my toolkit um, is TypeScript. Um, so, so TypeScript adds uh, type annotations to normal JavaScript. Um, and, and I've found that that's really improved. Uh, it's, it's allowed me to level up as a, a front-end developer. Um, and uh, write better code um, on the more uh, effective in, in the way that I work, and yeah, so it's, it's easier to, to understand the code that I'm writing, easier to work with it, and uh, improve it over time. That's awesome to hear, and anyone out there wants to know about TypeScript as well, <laughs> like, um, that I've been hearing about TypeScript and ReasonML and the similarities and differences, so it's awesome to hear about that. Um, and what, what component are you using at the moment, and are there any that interest you in the future? Do you think that you'd go in any other direction, or... Um, what do you forecast the future to look like? Sure, so I'm uh, primarily, I've used um, Angular in the front end. Um, and yeah, I really like that. I think it's got a lot of positive uh, features. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to be looking at, at React shortly because just because there's so much interest in it. Um, so I've only got a little bit of exposure to that. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited. Hopefully we'll be looking at that soon. Um, in terms of like how I see everything going, like from an Angular perspective, I can see that, that there's a movement to creating like smaller, lightweight, reusable components so that you can actually work across different frameworks. Um, so you can create something in Angular that you can use in React or use in Vue. Um, and I, from what I've heard, I think a lot of the um, a lot of the frameworks are going in that similar direction, so uh, maybe over the next few years we can have like a convergence. That'd be kind of cool. That would be very cool, I think. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how it evolves, um, yeah. you know, from the jQuery days before us and where it is now. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.